Hello my friends, and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. In this video, we will explore the manufacturing process of drive engineering and coiler shaft, which are extremely important parts in steelmaking mill. In the following parts of the video, You Can Do TV will show you the very interesting steel fabrication processes. Drive engineering plays a crucial role in the steelmaking industry, particularly in steel plants and rolling mills. The drive technology employed must meet the highest demands to ensure sturdy and reliable performance. This is essential to achieve top quality products and maintain high plant availability for decades. SMS SEMA, a company specializing in drive systems and components, has been at the forefront of developing, designing, and manufacturing drive solutions for steelmaking plants and rolling mills. Their product range includes all drive systems for hot and cold rolling mills, as well as steelmaking plants. They supply main drive gears, mill pinion gears, twin drive gear units, and deer units for various applications such as shears, edgars, sizing presses, coil airs, and more. Their spindles, including flex gear type spindles and slipper type spindles, are designed to meet the highest torque requirements for converters like BOF, basic oxygen furnace converters. Additionally, they provide tilting drives for specific applications. The fabrication of gear components takes place in SMS SEMA's advanced workshops. Modern machinery and equipment are utilized to handle the manufacturing process. In the welding shop, fully mechanized submerged arc welding is employed to create strong joints on the gear wheels. Welding is followed by a kneel process for stress relief to ensure the gears are structurally sound. After welding and stress relief, the gear wheels move to the machining and milling stage. State-of-the-art machines are used to mill the tooling with precision. Qualified personnel supervise this process to ensure accuracy and quality. To enhance the hardness and durability of the gears, case hardening is employed. The gear wheels undergo a case hardening process, which involves heating them to a specific temperature and then quenching them rapidly. This results in a hardened outer layer, providing excellent wear resistance. The next step is grinding the tooth flanks of the gears. This is done on a profile grinder to achieve the desired tooth geometry and surface finish. Grinding ensures smooth and precise operation of the gears. In addition to the gears, SMS SEMA also produces gear housings in-house. This ensures compatibility and seamless integration of the gear units. The gear housing production process is carried out using advanced manufacturing techniques. The gear components are pre-assembled, and the gear contact pattern is adjusted using eccentric leaves. This allows for precise adjustment of the gear contact pattern and clearance, enabling optimal gear performance. The finished gears undergo high-precision tests on a separate gear measuring machine. This step verifies the dimensional accuracy and ensures that the gears meet the required specifications. Gear contact patterns and clearances are precisely adjusted using computer-aided programs. At Alaris Aluminum in Koblenz, Germany, SMS SEMA replaced the entire drivetrain in just a few days. The installation of the twin drive gearbox was one of the most spectacular revamps in recent years. Without interrupting operations, SMS SEMA mounted the new drive and motors on a foundation block, which was then moved to the position of the old drive unit after completing all function tests successfully. This demonstrates the company's reliability and ability to execute complex projects. Throughout the manufacturing process, SMS SEMA maintains a high standard of quality control. Highly qualified and experienced employees work in production with regular advanced training to enhance their skills. Comprehensive service plans are also offered to maintain the performance of the drives, including inspection services and monitoring systems for the gear units. A 
At Shell and Ag, the manufacturing process for coiler shafts involves several steps to ensure the production of high-quality, ready-to-install machine shafts. Let's delve into each of these steps. Open die forging. The manufacturing process begins with open die forging. This process involves shaping the raw material, typically a high-strength alloy steel, into the desired coiler shaft shape using heavy machinery and high-pressure compressive forces. Open die forging ensures the creation of a sturdy and durable shaft with the required mechanical properties. Saws. After the forging process, the coiler shaft undergoes sawing to remove any excess material and to achieve the desired length and dimensions. This step helps in refining the overall shape of the shaft. Quenching and tempering. Quenching. After the coiler shafts have undergone the necessary machining operations, they are heated to a specific temperature and then rapidly cooled in a quenching medium, such as oil or water. This rapid cooling process helps to harden the material and increase its strength and wear resistance. Tempering. Following quenching, the coiler shafts are tempered. Tempering involves reheating the hardened shafts to a lower temperature and holding them at that temperature for a specified period. This controlled heating and cooling process helps to relieve internal stresses, improve toughness, and achieve the desired balance between hardness and ductility in the shafts. Material testing. Material testing is a critical aspect of the manufacturing process for coiler shafts at Shewin Ag. These tests are conducted to ensure that the materials used in the shafts meet the required specifications and exhibit the necessary mechanical properties. Pre-turn. In the pre-turn stage, the coiler shaft is subjected to initial turning operations. This step involves removing any remaining excess material and preparing the shaft for subsequent machining processes. rough and finish milling. The coiler shaft undergoes rough and finish milling operations to achieve the desired surface finish, dimensional accuracy, and geometrical features. This step helps in refining the shape and size of the shaft, ensuring smooth operation during coiling and uncoiling of sheet metal. Finish turning and grinding. In the finish turning and grinding stage, the coiler shaft receives final precision machining. This step involves refining the dimensions, surface finish, and tolerances to meet the exact specifications required for installation. Grinding operations help achieve precise roundness and surface quality. Drilling. Drilling is performed to create any required holes or bores in the coiler shaft allowing for additional components or attachments to be installed, if necessary. This step ensures the shaft is ready to be integrated into the coiling and uncoiling system. Non-destructive testing. To guarantee the integrity and reliability of the coiler shaft, non-destructive testing techniques are employed. Ultrasonic US testing and magnetic particle MP testing are commonly utilized methods to detect any potential defects, cracks, or irregularities that may affect the performance of the shaft. Packing. Once the coiler shaft has undergone all necessary machining and testing processes, it is carefully packed to ensure its protection during transportation and storage. The Decoiler Straightener Feeder System, manufactured by Coiltech, is a cutting-edge solution designed to streamline press feeding operations in various industrial applications. 
this compact system combines three essential functions into a single integrated unit, offering enhanced efficiency and productivity. The decoiler straightener feeder system is a sophisticated piece of machinery that combines three essential functions, decoiling, straightening, and feeding. Let's explore how this system works to streamline press feeding operations. Decoiling. The system begins by unwinding the metal coil, which is typically stored on a reel. The coil is placed on the decoiler mandrel, and a motorized drive system smoothly unwinds the coil, releasing the material. The unwinding process is controlled to maintain tension and prevent material slack or snags, ensuring a steady supply. Straightening. Once the material is unwound, it may have coil memory or deformations. To rectify this, the system employs a straightener mechanism. The material passes through a series of straightening rollers that gradually remove any curvatures or irregularities, resulting in a perfectly flat and smooth strip of metal. The straightening process is crucial to ensure accurate and consistent feeding. Feeding. After the material has been straightened, it is ready to be fed into the press for further processing. The feeder mechanism takes control, precisely advancing the material at the desired feed speed. The feeder may utilize servo-driven rolls or pneumatic grippers to grip the material securely and move it forward with accuracy. The feed length and speed can be programmed and adjusted to meet specific requirements. The spiral manufacturing process starts with milling the edges of the steel plate to ensure smooth and precise edges that will facilitate a proper weld joint. Welding. The milled steel plate is then formed into a cylindrical shape and welded along the spiral seam. This is usually achieved by using automated submerged arc welding saw techniques. The weld joint is continuously moved along the length of the pipe, creating a spiral weld. Quality inspection. After welding, the pipes undergo various quality inspections to ensure they meet industry standards and customer requirements. These inspections include visual examination, dimensional checks, and surface defect inspections. Hydrostatic test. The pipes are subjected to a hydrostatic test, which involves filling them with water or another suitable fluid under high pressure to check for any leakage or structural weaknesses. Radiographic inspection. In this step, the pipes are examined using radiographic testing, commonly X-rays or gamma rays, to detect any internal defects or welding inconsistencies. This inspection method provides a detailed view of the internal weld quality and identifies any potential issues that may compromise the pipe's performance. The Gorelocker Combi T, Spiro is a highly efficient machine designed to produce standing lock seam elbows and reducers. It utilizes two separate workstations, a flanging station and a seam closing station, providing high flexibility and eliminating the need for time-consuming conversions. This allows the machine to be ready for operation at all times. The first workstation, the flanging station, is responsible for creating the standing lock seam. This process involves shaping the sheet metal into a specific profile, typically a 90-degree elbow or a reducer. The sheet metal is fed into the machine, and specialized tools and rollers are used to form the standing lock seam shape. This standing lock seam design reduces the need for extensive welding, as it requires only one longitudinal seam. It also enhances the rigidity and strength of the final product. Once the flanging process is complete, the sheet metal moves to the seam closing station. 
Here, the machine seals the lock seam to ensure a tight and secure connection. Various mechanisms, such as rollers or clamps, are employed to close and lock the seam, creating a durable and leak-proof joint. The Gorelocker Combi T, Spiro is manufactured by Spiro International SA, a renowned industry leader in the development of machines for round ducting and fittings in sheet metal. Spiro is also a trusted supplier of fittings and system solutions for the ventilation and air conditioning sector. With their expertise and innovative technology, the Gorelocker Combi T, Spiro offers high production capabilities, precision, and reliability for the production of standing lock seam elbows and reducers in the ventilation and air conditioning industry. Manufacturing process of Laba Laba grading, the Laba Laba grading, produced by PT Multicolor Inda Indonesia, is a versatile product widely used in various industries. This article provides an in-depth understanding of the manufacturing process of Laba Laba grading, focusing on the steps involved in small size steel plate preparation, wire rod processing, press welding, and finishing operations. Small size steel plate preparation. The manufacturing process of Laba Laba grading begins with the preparation of small size steel plates. Wire rod processing. Simultaneously with the steel plate preparation, wire rods are processed to the required size for Laba Laba grading production. The wire rod, typically made of low carbon steel, is fed into a twisting machine. The machine twists the wire rod, increasing its strength and stability. After the twisting process, the wire rod is cut into pieces according to the desired dimensions. These wire rod pieces will be used to form the mesh panels of the grating. The press applies pressure to the steel plates, creating a serrated pattern on the surface. This process enhances the grating slip resistance and provides a secure footing for users. After passing through the serrated press, the steel plates are cut into long pieces to facilitate further processing. Press welding process. The core manufacturing technique employed in Laba Laba grading production is press welding. 
This process involves the use of a press welding machine that allows for the perpendicular insertion of steel wire rods into the steel plate, creating a robust and secure bond. Machine setup. Before starting the press welding process, the press welding machine is set up according to the desired grading specifications. This involves adjusting the machine settings, such as wire spacing, wire diameter, and pressure, to meet the required design parameters. Steel wire insertion. In this step, the steel wire rods are manually or automatically fed into the press welding machine. The machine's mechanism presses the wire rods firmly into the pre-cut steel plate, forming a grid-like pattern. The direction of installing the steel wire rods determines the width of the grating, while the direction of installing the steel plate determines its length. Welding. Once the steel wire rods are correctly positioned in the steel plate, the press welding machine applies pressure and heat to create a strong metallurgical bond between the wires and the plate. The combination of pressure and heat ensures proper fusion and adherence, resulting in a sturdy and durable grading structure. Cutting and border formation. Once the mesh panels are formed, they are cut into smaller pieces based on the required dimensions of the grating. These smaller mesh panels will serve as individual sections of the final product. To reinforce and provide a finished look, the welders proceed to weld steel plates around the edges of the mesh panel. The steel plate acts as a border, covering the cuts made during the mesh panel formation process. This border also enhances the structural integrity of the grating. Finishing operations, to ensure the Laba Laba grading's quality, appearance, and functionality, several finishing operations are carried out. Grinding. After the welding process, the welded sections of the grating are ground to ensure smoothness and remove any sharp edges or burrs. This grinding process improves the safety and comfort of users, preventing potential injuries or discomfort.
Surface treatments. Depending on the desired characteristics and applications, additional surface treatments may be applied to the Laba Laba grading. Surface treatments, such as galvanization or powder coating, can be implemented to enhance corrosion resistance, improve aesthetics, and provide long-lasting durability. Quality control. Throughout the manufacturing process, PT Multicolor Inda Indonesia implements rigorous quality control measures. Skilled technicians conduct visual inspections, dimensional checks, and mechanical tests to ensure that each Laba Laba grading meets the required standards and specifications. Non-conforming products are identified, rectified, or rejected to maintain consistent quality.